Hi and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question. Using the property of determinants and without expanding, prove that the determinant 2765-3875-5986 is equal to 0. Let's start the solution. Let delta is equal to our given determinant. That is 2765-3875-5986. We have to prove that delta is equal to 0 by using the property of determinants. Again, we can rewrite this as delta is equal to 2, 3, 5. Now, second column, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 5, and 5 plus 4. C3 is as it is, 65, 75, 86. Now we can express delta as a sum of two determinants that is 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 65, 75, 86 plus 2, 3, 5, 5, 5, 4. 65, 75, 86. As we have the property that if sum or all elements of a row or column of a determinant are expressed as sum of two or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as sum of two or more determinants. That is why we have expressed delta is sum of two determinants because we have expressed C2 as a sum of two numbers, so delta can be expressed as a sum of two determinants. Now, this determinant is also equal to zero because C1 and C2 are identical. We have a property of a determinant. If any two rows or column of a determinant are identical, that is all corresponding elements are same, then value of the determinant is zero. Therefore, we have Delta is equal to 0 plus 2, 5, 65, 3, 5, 75, 5, 4, 86. As C1 and C2 are identical. By applying R1 goes to R1 minus R2 to delta, we get delta is equal to This is 2 minus 3, minus 1, 5 minus 5, 0, 65 minus 75, this is minus 10. Now, R2 and R3 are same, 5, 4, 86. Again, by applying R2 goes to R2 plus 3R1 and R3 goes to R3 plus 5R1, we get delta is equal to 0, minus 10. Now R2 goes to R2 plus 3 R1. That is 3 plus minus 3, 0, 5, 
This is 45. Again, R3 goes to R3 plus 5R1. We get 0, 4, 36. Now, expanding along first column, we get delta is equal to minus 1 into determinant 5. 4, 45, 36, minus 0 into minus 0 plus 0, which is equal to minus 1 into 180 minus 180 minus 0 plus 0 which is again equal to 0. Hence we have proved that our given determinant that is delta is equal to 0 hence proved. I hope the question is clear to you. Bye and have a good day.